Just put in the work. You've got to put in the work. Have a daily plan. When you wake up in the morning, you should know this is what I'm doing today. And do it. And make sure that you don't quit until it's done. And if you do that every single day and you follow that roadmap, you can't fail. The goal is I want to get two meaningful conversations every day. If they're legitimate, motivated sellers and they're serious about selling, we can get them. What's going on, everybody? It's me, it's Aaron Wittenstein, and I want to welcome you to Vulcan 7 Roadmap. This is where we learn how to take one, two, three, four, 553,366,000.2 listings a week, all right? And this gentleman here, I spoke with like seven, eight years ago, and we lost touch and we're reconnecting now. So, Mr. Jim Steele from Pasco County, Florida, would you say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. How are you today? So, all right. Well, um, Jim and I were chatting a little bit, and um, Jim, I, I, I know you know for a long time, you know, you called expired, you called for sale by owners, and that stuff. You got away from it when the market got a little fancy. It's the best way to put it. Yes. And what are you doing now? Back to it. <laughs> right back. And basically, I just turned the clock back like seven years. And said, okay, we're back to when I first you know, started using it. And let's just go back and do it again. And it was like riding a bike. You know, you don't forget. I, I was right back on my script. I was killing it just right off the bat. So it's just same thing I was doing before. So so you got you got away from it. Is the best. And yes. So can, can you just walk? I had an over? ISA calling for me. I got, I started thinking I was, was, you know, more special than I am. And so I didn't have to do it anymore. I could pay an ISA to call these things for me and set up appointments for my team. And for a while, it was great. It worked really well until the market started shifting so much towards the sellers that there were no expired listings. There were very few. And then that's when I said, I'll shift my focus this way, you know, let my ISA go and moved on with something different. But, you know, now the expireds are starting to come back. You know, the prices are starting to drop. And it's not as crazy as it's been the last couple of years. So, so you're just basically like we, we just went back to the future is the best way to put it. And you're you're, you're picking up the phone, you're getting things going. How have things been going pretty well thus far? It's much harder to get in to get the people on the phone, um, which is why I'm a big fan of video. Um, I'm launching a YouTube channel. Um, in fact, I just recorded my first video this morning, and um, hopefully that you know in a few months will be a thing. Um, but I really believe in video and so I'm using, you know, the technology to get in front of these people in different ways. Interesting. Yet the thing is, is that it, it's what I've noticed when you, you know, upping your skill set, you know, I mean, stuff like that. Cause it's like, you know, you may get fewer people on the line, which means you got to know what to say, you know, when they answer that darn phone. Right. And, yes. um, you know, so, so it's like, it's, um, it's just like anything. It's like when you're, you're on the phones or you're doing video, it's upping the skill set. You know what I mean? Is you know is what it now, is. I've been using the same script for yeah. years and years. I, I actually coach agents on this, you know, technique. And it, it's easy. It's simple. It's so easy. Um, and it's not scary and it's not invasive. It's not used car selling sounding or anything like that. Um, very conversational, very unthreatening. And people respond to it. Like I said, my trick is getting them on the phone. That's the hardest part. Right. Once I get them on the phone, I'll get an appointment probably 98% of the time. There's no way they can say no. Can, can I Can I hear it? Do you want to? I would love to. <laughs> All right, you're telling me. I, I, right. I got I to hear this. Play? Yes. You want to role play? Yes, with I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. I'll call you. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, is this Aaron? This is. How can I help you? Hi, Aaron. My name's Jim Steele with Remax Champions. Am I the first agent to call about your house? No, you're like the 34th realtor to call. And Is Morgan, that all? Yeah. Only 34? Oh, yep, 34. Yeah, there's usually 100 or more. You're lucky. Well, listen, I bet you're wondering, hey, where were all you guys when my house was for sale, right? Like, where were these all these agents? All of a sudden, now they're coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. No. Well, let me ask you a question, Aaron. My specialty is selling homes that other agents couldn't sell. And I just wondered... 
do you still want to sell your home? Is that still your goal? Yeah, I mean, but I think we're going to relist with the agent who had our um, listing before. Hey, listen, I understand that. And I really, re I respect your loyalty. That's phenomenal. Can I ask you one question? Sure, what's up? Did your previous agent want to sell your house? I would hope so. I would too, right? So do you think they did everything that they knew how to do? Like they did all the marketing, all the stuff that they knew how to do to sell your home, right? They would have done that. Do you, you agree? Yeah. And it still didn't sell. So okay. if they did everything they know how to do and it couldn't sell then, what's going to be different this time? I, Does it I, make sense to you to maybe take another look at it? Maybe have another set of eyes look at your situation. Try something different. Try something that wasn't done before. Let me ask you a question, Aaron. If I could show you a way to get your home sold at a great price in the next 30 to 60 days, would you be willing to meet with me for 15 minutes? I just want to sit down, meet you, chat with you. I want to show you my custom marketing plan that is guaranteed to sell your home or it costs me money. Okay. And it takes 15 minutes of your time. Would that be worth your time? Um, I guess I'd be open to it, but um, yeah, I'd be open to it. That's fine. Fantastic. I got some time tomorrow in the morning or Monday in the afternoon. What's better for you? Tuesday. Tuesday? I feel like I didn't say What time is good on Tuesday? Tuesday at 12 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. I'm sleepy. Listen, I'm old. I go to bed at 1030. Okay. I get up at five. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I'll tell you what, let's do a uh, house two o'clock. That's fine. That, that'll work. That'll work well. Fantastic. And look, no pressure. Let's just see if we're a match. We get along. We're buddies. We talk. We see what's going on. Uh, if there's a way I can help you, I will definitely show you the way. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you for your time. Okay. So, see so you then. thank you. So basically, what you, so what you did was, is you took right off the bat, you isolated, you, know, you, you took, you took the objections off the table. Exactly. There's no, that's what I'm saying. There's no way they can say no. Like, and I love that you brought up the objection that they, that they want to use their first agent because believe me, they always say that that's like so common. And I said, well, don't you think they would have done everything they knew how to do? They already tried. They failed. They couldn't do it. Maybe you need somebody else to look at this. And it just makes sense. Like, they're, you know, unless they're just complete jerks and they're just not going to listen, uh, you know, if they're legitimate and they have a need to sell and you present it that way your chances of getting the appointment are skyrocketed over the next guy because everybody else is going to call like this. Hi, I'm Bob Smith with this real estate company. And I wanted to see if you want me to list your house. Yeah. It's super powerful. You're done. You know, you're gone. And I really love the one thing I learned from Barino, who the coaches who I took over for, because sadly he passed away is um, the, am I the first agent to call about your house? I love that. And it's called a pattern interrupter. Because everybody else is going to say this. Hi, I'm Jim Steele with Remax. How are you today? Weak. Terrible. You sound like a telemarketer right off the bat. It's awful. So I say, am I the first agent you call about your house? Now, they were prepared for me to say, am, you know, how are you today? And I threw them off. I interrupted the pattern of thinking. And that gets them, their defenses are automatically down because they haven't heard that before. They don't know what to say now. Now I'm in charge. Now I'm leading this conversation because of that question. And it's so powerful, but no agents do it until they come to my class and I'm going to teach them how to do it. So, <laughs> there, there was one. My loan, that's my loan pitch. You're, you're, Real estate rock star agents. That's it. I, I'm done. <laughs> so, all right. So qu question for you. Um, this mm -hmm. was towards the tail end. I, I, I didn't write it down because I was too busy listening. Um, yes. You, how did you close me? Do you remember? Because I, I had a good piece of feedback for you. Um, I'll just ask you if I can show you a way in the next 30 to 60 days to get your home sold at a great price. That's important. At a great price. I'm not going to lowball your house out to the market and give it away. We're going to get you a great price and your results are guaranteed. Now, here's my guarantee. If I can't sell your home for what we list it for, Mr. Customer, I will make up the difference. Mm, tell so me if more. we can't sell it for what I list it for. I'll make up the difference. Now there's caveat, there's, you know, asterisk to that. Of course. So, uh, and, the, and the asterisk is that, you know, we cap the amount. I'm not going to pay like $50,000 if, <laughs> you know, if their house doesn't sell, it can't be more than my commission. So, um, but again, it works, man. I'll tell you what, the first time I ever 
rode that guarantee on somebody. It was a lead. And I called him up and I, it was, I'll never forget. It was a Friday afternoon and I was pulling off the highway and I was sitting at the light and I called this lady, Nancy. And I said, Hey, Nancy, you know, I'm Jim, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, uh, you know, she said, Oh, sorry. I've already got appointments on Monday with agents. I'm good to go. And I said, well, did any of them guarantee that if they couldn't sell your house for full price, they'd make up the difference? She literally said, and now I have another appointment Monday. Can you come at two 30? I'm like, yep. And I sold the house. I listed it full price, sold it, bam. Then, not only that, she referred me her neighbor right across the street that was a $950,000 deal. And I sold that too. So uh, hers was five hundred. dollars His was nine fifty. dollars So, you know, that's not bad. stuff works. No, it's just, you know, and the nice part is, I mean, you tell me you haven't done it in a long time because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that, um, how can I put this, uh, kind of let it go for a little bit. You know, um, yes. they, they just let it go. And it's it's like riding a bike, isn't it? I mean, for, for you, it doesn't sound like you haven't sure. called in years. I mean, that's not the vibe. I haven't I got called in years and I could do that script with my eyes closed. I haven't called in until just recently, until this market started shifting. And I said, you know what? I better do something different. Yeah. Uh, but for like, like I said, I had the ISA since uh, I think I started with them in 2015. So that uh -huh. was... Probably one of the last times I've called an expired listing, 2016, maybe something like that. Ever since then, it was them calling. Wow. Okay. And they weren't, you know, they weren't as good as me. I gave them the script, but I knew they weren't as good. But we had so many deals working that I was just, this is fine because I didn't have time. In my mind, I didn't think I had time to be calling and setting the appointments and all that stuff. So I let them do it. So, so in retrospect, I've done it myself. Well, we, we can't look backwards and look forward. Um, so yes. going forward, do you think this will be a significant part of what you do? Or if the market... Yeah, this will be all what I do. Yeah. <laughs> this will be it. Uh, my job now is for my team is going to be I'm calling the expired listings every day. I'm setting the appointments. And then they can run the appointments with me. Uh, you know, if, I, if there's too many, then, you know, I got a couple of agents that I trust that can do it themselves. And they know my system and stuff. So I'll just have them run the appointments and I'll just call because I can call them. Like I said, if I can get them on the phone, I'm getting an appointment. That's almost a lock. Hmm. Uh, and again, that's why we're bringing the video and stuff into it. You get through and it's all a matter of getting through the front door. Um, so what, what time are you typically starting in the morning right now? Uh, nine o'clock in, in this area. I don't, you know, I know that Vulcan teaches eight. I, I got... I'm at the gym. I got stuff to do in the morning. So uh, nine o'clock is when I'm done with my shower after the workout and stuff, and I'm ready to call people and they seem receptive to it. Um, and then I'll call, you know, I, I kind of mix it up. Like I'll call in the later afternoon, probably like after like five. And then if I don't get them, I'll try them in the evening, maybe like seven o'clock, you know, something. Right. Um, I cut off at eight. I don't, I don't call after eight. Sure, um, and Saturday, Saturday is good anytime. So I'll call Saturdays. Usually you'll get a hold of people on Saturday that you won't get during the week. How, how many hours are you putting in now a week? Would you, if you had to guesstimate, what do you think? Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe 25. Oh, on wow. the phone. So, yeah. So you're really like, I mean, you're really you're really going full bore with this stuff then, huh? Again, I know it works. Yeah. So I figure, well, hey, if things are slowing down and I got to, then I'm telling my agents, you know, you got to work three times harder for the same money now. This is just how it is. Um, then I got to lead by example, you know? So I'm on the phone just like I tell them to be on the phone. Now, um, are you making requirements for all your agents to be on the phones or is it kind of like hit or miss or how, what does that look like? I, I have a weekly like a uh, call log that I want to see them at least contacting two people a day, having two meaningful conversations every day. However many calls that takes, I don't care. It, get the cold of the people. If you, if you call twice, you know, eight 30 in the morning and get two people in a row and you have good conversations set a point of fine, you can be done. I don't care. That's good. That's your day. But um, that's the goal is I want to get two meaningful conversations every day um and then you know so we're gonna be able to set those appointments because again if we can get them on the phone with this script yeah our chances of getting that appointment are really really high so if they're legitimate you know motivated sellers and they're serious about selling 
we can get them. So, all right. So, cause I, you know, the, the one thing I love about you, man, is definitely, I mean, it's the confidence levels through the roof, which is amazing. You know what I mean? You're like, I got this. I'm good. And cause you've yes. done it before. It's you've done it easy. before. And it, that, that's what I'm I've saying. Every year. That's what I'm saying. I was making 1500 calls a year, you know, when I was doing it my, before I hired right. the ISA and stuff, I was killing it. So, so when you're going on the appointments themselves, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, when, 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 when you're going on the appointments right now, um, like what's your, what's your secret sauce? You know, all the, I, I love the idea of the, um, you know, the, the list sale price and we'll do that. But like, what do you feel is the yeah. most important thing you do when you're going out on those appointments? When I go out on the appointment, the first thing I do is I thank them for, you know, letting me show up and I tell them, okay, here's what we're going to do. So the reason I say that is I just took control. This is right. now my show. So I say, what I want you to do is show me the best feature of your house. I just want to know what they're thinking. And honestly, I just want to give them something to do. I already know what I'm going to do when I'm there. So they'll take me to, you know, the, you know, pool or whatever. And we're just talking. And I'm just, and all the while, I'm just building that relationship with them. So what, the one thing I want to find out more than anything else is why are you wanting to sell? Why are you putting yourself through this? Okay. Because there has to be an underlying reason. There has to be some reason that they want to deal with listing their house, going through the showings and, you know, working with the agents and stuff. There's a reason. I want to find out what that is because I'm going to use that later to close them. So they say, okay, you know what? Um, our daughter just graduated from college and she's getting married and we want to downsize. The house is too big for just us. Fantastic. And then uh, how soon do you want to see that happen? Well, I mean, obviously... You had the house on the market just two days ago, so you must want to do it pretty quickly, right? Yeah, fantastic. And do you have a, any place in mind where you want to go after we sell this house? No, I said after we sell it. Right, like, right. We're already working together. In my mind, we were, we're already working together. So, um, yeah, we want to go to, you know, Trinity, whatever. I don't care. Okay, fine. Um, great. So then let's do this. Why don't we put together a plan that's going to get you to Trinity the fastest, Put the most money in your pocket with the least amount of hassle as possible. Would that be all right? Yeah. And then that's when we sit down and I go through my presentation. Um, by then, I feel like I got a good enough relationship with them that they're, you know, uh, they trust me. Remember, I, this is such this is such a simple business, Aaron, and mm -hmm. people just complicate it. Okay. And I'm going to give you guys, whoever's watching this, the secret to real estate right now. So write this down because this will change your life. All you have to do is get them to like and trust you and they will do business with you. That's it. That's all this job is. All this job is, is to make them like you. If you're a likable person, you're going to do fine. You're going to make a lot of money. That's God gave me the gift to be likable. People trust me. They like me immediately. And I have used that to my advantage to make a ton of money in real estate. Um, you know, it's not hard. Some people try and they're they're looking for like this magic pill or something that just they're poof, they're gonna be like a superstar agent. Listen, just be yourself, be likable. Now, if you're a jerk, it ain't gonna work. So, you know, I mean again, you better change your personality. You gotta be likable. That's the key. So when I interview agents for my team, the first thing I'm the first thing I look at is is this person likable? Like, can I talk to them? Do I feel comfortable with them? If the answer is no, they're not on my team because they're not going to be they're not going to be effective out there. And most often, when I make that decision, I'm right, and they're ended up out of the business. You know, a year later or something, I say, "Oh yeah, I notice you're selling cars now." So yeah, it didn't work in real estate, I guess. So again, likable, like and trust, and they will do business with you. And it's that simple. Other people, do, all these other agents, just overcomplicate it. They try and be somebody that they're not. That's why I'm so successful. I don't, guess what? A lot of times I don't even wear pants to my listing appointments because it's too hot. I like shorts. I wear shorts 99% of the time. I don't feel like wearing heavy slacks or freaking jeans or something and be hot and sweaty. No, I got my shorts. And you know what? It doesn't matter. I've sold million dollar houses with shorts and sandals on. It doesn't matter. Because that is who I am. And I'm being myself 
and they know that they can they can relate to me that way if i came in with a suit on i would be so ineffective because i would not be comfortable i would not be myself i'd be somebody i'm not that's not my that's not my life so again what makes me successful is me this is me and they they you know catch on to that they're like this guy's real you don't try and bs them with stuff you know you don't try and smoke and pony or what was it called smoke and mirrors yeah dog and pony show none, none of that we don't do that we're just real no i i agree with you man you know you got to be yourself be comfortable because it's hard to do anything when you're not being yourself or comfortable and you threw me for a little bit of a loop there you know beside the point but um no man that's um yeah, I, know, I, I, thought I, would. I know you did i know that was fully intentional i'm like i'm like that's an interesting way to go about sales right there so um no yeah man, well, it works yeah you know? I, I got, you know, a friend of mine in California does the same thing, flip flops and shorts, and he's good to go on an appointment. So yep. um, I may start taking that to heart a little bit myself. I prefer. Well, you live there. here. You'll, you'll, it will take you a little while for your blood to thin. Oh, it's starting. But like you'll, you'll be tired of the, of the heat pretty quick and you'll be like shorts, golf shirt. That's it. That's all I'm wearing. I'm, and I'm ready to rock. So, so let me ask you this, Jim. Um, you got a new agent, swings by your brand new smoking agent out of, uh, right out of class. Comes by your desk. Yeah. Usually, Jim runs a heck of a business over. He knows what he's doing. Jim, give me one piece of advice. What would that piece of advice be? Do what I tell you to do. If you do what I tell you to do, you'll make money. Because I've done it with lots and lots of agents. Listen to me. Trust me. Do what I tell you to do. Follow my program. Follow my steps. And you can't fail. There's no such thing as failure. It's not a real thing. Do the things I show you to do. First agent I ever hired came straight. She she was not, I, I mean, I think she had her license like literally one month. I'm pretty sure it was one month when she came into our office. And I had just been, I'd been talking to our brokers about, you know, I think it's time I start a team. I'm too busy. I need somebody. They said, here, here's a new girl. Why don't you try her out? She was green as the day is long, man. She knew nothing, but she had a phenomenal attitude. Her attitude was just phenomenal. Let's put it this way. Right now she does 20 million. She does, she's not with me anymore. Um, she went to another brokerage and, you know, she outgrew me, but she does 20 million a year, give or take something like that. Her first year, she made a hundred thousand dollars and didn't know anything. She only knew what I told her to know. She only did what I told her to do, but she did it. I mean, she followed it to the letter. She did exactly what I said to do, exactly how many calls I said to make, exactly say what I say, you know, do these things. And now she's a super stud. We're still very good friends. I mean, that was, gosh, when was that? Seven years ago? Something like that. So um, we're still very good friends. We talk all the time. Um, and I'm super proud of her. And, you know, the coolest thing was she was being interviewed by her broker because she's like, you know, superstar of the month or whatever the heck. And she put a video on Facebook. And she actually thanked me in it. She said, I wouldn't be where I am without Jim. So I'm like, hey, all right, there you go. <laughs> hey, I'll, you take that. I'll take the word. A little, little bit of love for me. <laughs> um, but no, you know what, man? I've been blessed to have the right people teaching me in my life and, you know, different things like that. Um, I got in with the right group. And, it, it, you know, it just... It just was easy. It really just worked out. I just put. I just kind of made it my own. Right. I kind of tweaked what I was taught and made it more personal for me. That was more comfortable for me to deliver. And then that was it. You know. Beautiful. All right, my friend. So we're coming around the bend here. And um, give me last final words, piece of advice, last thing you want to you want to say to everybody. I mean, just just work, you guys. Just put in the work. This is not. This is not the type of business where money is just going to fall out of the sky and land in your hands. You've got to put in the work. Have a daily plan. You should know every day what you're going to do for that day. You should not When you wake up in the morning, you should know this is what I'm doing today. And do it. And make sure that you don't quit until it's done. Set your daily plan up. Follow it. And if you do that every single day and you follow that roadmap, you can't fail. There's just no way. And if you just did that stuff, just because you're doing it, you would close business. There we, there we go. All right, my friend, someone has a referral in Pasco County. How do they get in touch with you? 
My number is 727-656-7694. You can call me, text me, anything. Uh, my email is jimsteel at remax.net. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you. Even if you just want to ask me questions, feel free to reach out. I don't mind. I help people all over the country with this. Appreciate that, man. All right. Thank you very much for your time as always. It was a very nice re-catching up with you. And um, it was great to see you again. You too, brother. Take care of yourself, okay? All right, buddy. You take care. Thank you.